so we have seen that that series diverges why that series diverges because uh, what we got infinity if uh, what un plus 1 divided by un limit at as n tends to infinity is equal to l and if that l is less than 1 the series converges and if it is greater than 1 the series diverges so here series diverges okay next example so we have been given with the series 1 by 3 1 into 2 3 into 5 1 2 3 3 5 7 and so on so you'll observe that the first term is 1 second term is 1 into 2 third term is 1 into 2 into 3 fourth term is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so n third term will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into up to n okay bracket square is there therefore i have given here bracket square uh, then the next term is 3 it is not 50 it is 5 so 3 3 into 5 it is not 3.5 it is 3 into 5 then 3 into 5 into 7 okay so you are observing that the values are increasing by 2 okay and they are odd numbers okay they are not even numbers they are 3 5 7 and so on so 3 3 5 3 5 7 so next term will be 3 5 7 uh, then 9 and so on okay last term will be odd number what 2n plus 1 okay so 2n is always even 2n plus 1 is always odd so what the last term or the last uh, number will be 2n plus 1 so 3 5 7 you can see that if n is equal to 1 we get 3 n equal to 2 we get 5 n equal to 3 we get 7 n equal to 4 we get 9 and so on so last term will be 2n plus 1 if n is equal to n we get 2n plus 1 and bracket square is there so this is your un okay now here also your comparison test will not work okay and we are observing that 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 up to n is n factorial okay so we get n factorial bracket square so denominator we cannot do any simplification but numerator can also be written as n factorial un plus 1 will become n plus 1 factorial bracket square divided by 3 5 7 and so on uh, 2 n plus 1 n will become n plus 1 so here i am going to put n equal to n plus 1 to get un plus 1 so everywhere uh, what n should be replaced by n plus 1 n is replaced by n plus 1 here also n is replaced by n plus 1 so n plus 1 what if i put here we get 2n plus 2 and 2n plus 2 plus 1 that is becoming 1 plus 3 so this is your un plus 1 and now let us take a ratio of un plus 1 to un if i take a ratio of un plus 1 to un yes uh, what i will be getting limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 uh, by un Yes, which will be equal to this okay you will observe that here n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 factorial 5 factorial can be written as 5 into 4 factorial so in similar way n plus 1 factorial can be written as yes n plus 1 into n factorial and that n factorial n factorial will get cancelled because we have common square so n factorial n factorial will get cancelled leaving you n plus 1 in numerator uh, 3 5 7 all terms will get cancelled okay leaving you what which terms will remain 2n plus 3 okay and uh, this 2n plus 1 will get cancelled so this uh, uh, previous to this term we have 2n plus 1 so 2n plus 1 and this 2n plus 1 will get cancelled so all the terms of uh, denominator of denominator and all the terms except this term of denominator's numerator uh, sorry numerator's denominator will get cancelled so leaving you n plus 1 divided by 2n plus uh, 3 bracket square and if i take n tends to infinity okay so we cannot take we, we should not take n tends to infinity directly what i am going to do is uh, i am going to take n common outside if n is common here also n is common n will get cancelled leaving you 1 and 1 by n and 2 plus 3 by n so this 2 will vanish leaving you 1 upon 2 and bracket square is already there so it becomes 1 by 4 1 by 4 definitely it is greater uh, it is less than 1 and therefore the series converges so if l is less than 1 the series converges okay example number 3 it involves x so ready made un is given to you again un plus 1 from uh, un you can obtain un plus 1 by putting n equal to n plus 1 everywhere wherever we see n replace it by n plus 1 so n plus 1 minus 1 gives you x raised to n n plus 1 3 raised to n plus 1 now take a ratio of these two and what after cancellation you will be getting x by 3 
okay now we are uh, we are not sure what is x so if x is uh, uh, if x by 3 if it is less than 1 then what the series converges and if it is greater than 1 the series diverges so convergence happen only if x by 3 is less than 1 x by 3 is less than 1 means x is less than 3 x is less than 3 means x value should be 2 1 0 and so on therefore this series converges only if x is less than 3 okay and diverges if x is greater than or equal to 3 so that is the exercise of your uh, dl number ratio test solve all the problems